Hey, okay, so I am going to be painting a fun rainbow today. So I'll tell you a little bit about the inspiration behind this rainbow um, here in just a second, but I wanted to go ahead and get the first part on. So for those of you that have been watching my videos, first off, please say hi as you come on. Um, I would love to give you a shout out um, and say hello and let me know um, if you've ever painted a rainbow before. And this actually, I think I've done one maybe as an art teacher, but I don't really recall. So this may be my first official rainbow that I've painted. Now, I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint this. I'm going to paint it in grays and blacks. I actually, good morning, BFFs. Hello, hello. Hey, Priscilla. Hey, Stacy. So my friend Brooke, um, she owns Refab. I actually asked her if I could take a picture of her earring. So that is Brooke's ear with her earring. So I'm actually kind of going, um, being inspired by this pair of earrings that had a bunch of different grays. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white into this, a bunch of different, different grays here. And then I want to just take a minute. This is gonna be a very fast painting. And hopefully the goal is, is it turns out cute. And those of you in Paint Party headquarters, if you, if you want to use this idea to make money for your paint parties, you know you can, as long as you are part of Paint Party Headquarters, you can use anything that I create original to be able to use for your paint parties. So if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, please do a hashtag PPHQ so I know who you are. And then anybody who is not, it's okay. <laughs> we, we open the doors a few times a year and you can get in there. So, um, so a couple of things first. How many of you use TikTok? Okay, let me know in the comments. Just put a yes or a no if you use TikTok. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Sherry. Oh, we have so many of y'all here. That's awesome. Hopefully, this will turn out great for y'all. Again, no promises because sometimes when I'm creating in the moment, um, sometimes it turns out really cute and sometimes it's not as cute. So, I don't want to make any promises yet. I'm going to use a Shimmering silver. Okay, so we have a lot of, let's see, we have people, some use TikTok, some don't. Some people, yes, we have a lot of yeses, a lot of no's, a lot of maybe. So if you do use TikTok, I started putting some motivational type stuff over on TikTok. It's under Texas Art and Soul. So if you are on TikTok, just go to at Texas Art and Soul, and then you can find my page there, I would really appreciate a follow. That would be awesome. And then I'm gonna start adding some motivational, like one minute, kind of one minute motivational business tips over there. So if you are not on TikTok and you wanna be, and you wanna go over there and follow me, again, it's just at Texas Art and Soul, and that's it. And so I'm gonna be putting some motivational, cause I know some of, um, some of us, as we're doing our business, we get really stuck. And so I wanted to talk to you really quick about three things while we are here, okay? So this may be a very personal question, but I'm just gonna say it because you know I get personal, right? Like I open up about a lot of things and um, I'm just grabbing some, some paper towels. You know, I opened up uh, you know about a lot of things and there were many, many, I mean, when I was growing up, we went to church maybe a couple times like we would go on easter and we would go maybe every once in a while we would go to um easter service or my aunt would take me to a church camp when i was in middle school and so i didn't grow up you know going to church every week and so um pixie when she was in third grade we actually put her in a, a christian school so she actually knows way more way more about the bible than i would ever know I started going more often to a church when I was around 18, 19, right after, probably around 19, whenever me and um, Bobby got married and we got really, really involved and that church split up, which unfortunately that happens. So, you know, you can, you know, if you've ever been in an experience like that, it is heart wrenching. And it took me 10 years to learn this lesson. And I want to share this lesson with you because I know a lot of people have been hurt by an institution, by a church. So I wanna share this lesson that I learned that took me 10 years 
10 years to learn. And I'm hopeful that it's not going to take, you know, you that long. You can learn from my mistakes. But the church split and I was devastated. I remember just like weeping, like crying, like so loud, you know, to my husband. Like, how could these people do this? Like, how could this happen? And I was 19. So obviously, I mean, I was a child bride. I got married when I was 18, which we're about to hit our 25th wedding anniversary. I'm so excited about that. And so, um, so I remember just kind of, you know, really, really crying. And that was like one of the first times, like I had really, really cried and, and I was just, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And, um, and it took me 10 years to learn, do not put your faith in people, put your faith in God where he will not fail you. And so I want to tell you that today. I don't know if, you know, you need to hear this message or you're like, oh, I don't understand, you know. I, for a long time, was putting my faith in people. And then when people would fail me, especially if it was a Christian, when people would fail me, I would automatically, you know, associate that person as a bad Christian. And then everybody was a bad Christian, right? And here's the thing about people. I am imperfect. You are imperfect. Let me know in the comments if you think you're perfect. I have a surprise for you. You are not. <laughs> we all are imperfect people just trying to do the best we can, trying to do the next best thing we think we're supposed to do. But if you put your, your faith in people, they're going to fail you. They're going to disappoint you. So you have to put your faith where it belongs at all times. So for many years, I was very bitter. I was very um, not... I think it took me a long time to forgive. And so that's what I want to talk about next is forgiveness is not for the person that you are forgiving. Okay. Has anybody ever heard that before? Forgiveness is for you. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to paint this rainbow. Um, forgiveness is for you. It is not for the person that you are forgiving. So, um, so it took me many, many, many years to get to this point. But now, as soon as somebody hurts me, I try my best. It takes, you know, I'm not saying I, I don't get mad or I, you know, don't cut them out of my life. Because sometimes if there is a, a very, you know, toxic relationship and you have given people chances and it keeps happening, you can forgive them but not allow them in your space. And so there's been um, people in my life where, you know, yes, there's been a forgiveness there because I don't want to hold on to that heaviness, but it doesn't mean that I have to keep going back for more. I don't have to keep being tortured, in other words, you know, mentally or however, however that person makes you feel. So, you know, if you have a friendship that, you know, every time you're around that person, it just feels so heavy. It's like, oh my gosh, could we please just just have fun. Can we please just talk about something that is not so crazy? You know, like there's those, those times in your life when you have people like that in your world or they have done you wrong. Um, and so I want you to remember that forgiveness is not for, it's not for them. The forgiveness part is for you. And that not only goes for people who have wronged you, but let me know in the comments if you um, have, you know, had this but it goes for you. It goes for forgiveness for you. Okay. And you might be thinking like, what are you talking about? How many times have, and you know, I teach you how to start a paint party business, right? I teach you how to, how to earn extra money for your family. How many times have you started a business? Maybe it was a, I mean, I'm just going to say Mary Kay. Maybe you started Mary Kay back in the day. Maybe some of you still are doing Mary Kay. I don't know. But maybe you failed at that business and you can't forgive yourself because you're like, I can't do a paint party business because I've tried this business and it failed. And I tried this and it failed. Or I was going to sign up for even a 5k and then I couldn't do it and I failed. And so all of a sudden we take this data point of this moment where we thought we were going to have success and then all of a sudden now, anytime we look at trying to make our life different, make our life better, we automatically go back to unforgiveness for ourselves. 
And really, y'all, it's just about practicing, getting better, going at it from a different angle, trying again. Oh my gosh, in today's world of social media and everything being so fast, we have to give ourselves grace and forgiveness, not only for people who we feel like have wronged us, but also forgiveness for ourselves, And that's regardless if you believe in God or not. Forgiveness for yourself is what's going to move you forward no matter what. So you have to, you have to remember, I mean, again, it, that part does not matter. If you are a Christian, if you believe, you know, the same way I believe, you know, it doesn't matter. Forgiveness is for you. And it's not only about you forgiving other people, but it's about you forgiving yourself so that you can move on to the next step. And then the last thing I want to talk about real quick is, you know, so many people think that, you know, maybe they've had a, a time or a situation in their life. Now, I, I know many multiple situations I could talk about, and some of them, I don't want to talk about because it's it's something to do with, you know, family or friends that, you know, it's their story to tell. But from their stories that I've heard, a lot of times people don't want to go to church because of a hurt they've had. Here's what I want to tell you. You can feel God's presence anywhere. You do not have to be in a church to feel God's presence. I have felt God's presence on a hike. I have felt God's presence, you know, in a moment with a, with a friend or, you know, sitting outside with Bobby and, you know, being thankful for, for what I have, for that relationship or whatever it is, you can feel God's presence anywhere. And let me know in the comments. I would love for y'all to flood the comments with places you have felt God's presence that did not involve a building. And I just wanted to get on here and show you this painting. I think it's going to turn out <laughs> with all the extra details. But I just wanted to get on here and, and tell you, for those of you, you know, I just had a situation recently that happened, and that's why I wanted to bring this to you, is that God is everywhere. He's not in four walls of a building. He's not sitting there in a closed door just waiting for you to go find him. He's not, he's not playing hide and seek, y'all. If you're struggling, you can find him anywhere. And that's what I love so, so much. Because we have grace. We've been given grace. Thank God for that. Don't put your faith in people. They will fail you every time. Put your faith in God where it's always supposed to be. I'm not saying don't love people. I'm not saying don't trust people. I'm just saying don't hold your faith there. That's an unrealistic expectation that we put on people who we are flawed. I'm flawed. You're flawed. We're all flawed. So, all right, I'm going to add some more stuff to this. I hope you like this. I'm going to go back and read all of your comments. Um, and I'm going to kind of touch this up a little bit. If you're in Paint Party headquarters, I'll touch it up, take some pictures. I actually have some um, kind of more fun stuff to add to it. I might add some glitter and some cool stuff to you. Um, but let me know what you think of this. And if you want to learn more about um, just kind of some motivational, some quick little motivational stuff. If you would, as soon as you get off of here, if you don't mind, go ahead and um, follow me on TikTok. I'm going to start doing some like one minute motivational type things. So please, please, please um, go follow me on TikTok at Texas Art and Soul. I'd appreciate it. And um, I hope you are doing good. All right. I'll talk to you later.